know that every once in a while they'll pop up some new outlandish, ridiculous trend in fashion or style or grooming, but this one might take the cake. So after I found out about this, I went to do a follow-up YouTube search when I realized, holy sh there's not only just one guy doing this, this can't be real. Want to hear about the most dangerous and outrageous way that some barbers are cutting hair now? Just hear me out. The first time I heard about this new trend, I mean, is it a trend though? Like, regardless, the first time I heard about this way of cutting hair was in a story about a dude from Gaza named Ramadan Odwan. The guy uses the blowtorch to cut your hair. And yes, in case you didn't hear me just now, I did say blowtorch. The guy likes your hair on fire. <gasps> now, as you probably have correctly guessed, I have a few strong opinions on this whole matter. However, before we get there, when I found out about this story, I went to go check YouTube to see if this guy was the only one. And much to my surprise, there's people lighting people's hair on fire all over the world. India, China, Pakistan, Italy, Turkey, even some old ass dude in Illinois is doing it. I mean, is this a thing? Like, am I late on something here? I mean, have I finally become what I feared for so long of become an old man who's lost touch with the new ways of the world? Eh. Like, I can't imagine going to the barber and sitting in the chair and then the barber asking me what kind of cut I want and me going, hey, uh, can you hook me up with the campfire? Like, no. And for all of you out there who are watching this saying, oh, that's so badass, like, I want my hair cut like that. You guys must have forgot what happened to Michael Jackson back in the 80s during that whole Pepsi commercial shoot. Because let me just tell you, the whole hair and fire thing didn't work out too well for Michael. Now, let's get back to the barber. According to him, this method is 100% completely safe, and he has not experienced one accident in the two months that he's been using this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Two months? I feel like that sample size is way too small for you to start bragging about how safe it is to light somebody's hair on fire with a blowtorch. Just saying. But Odwan has admitted to using a protective liquid, which he hasn't revealed the contents of, on his customer's hair before using the blowtorch. Oh, protective liquid. Oh, okay. If not, then it would have been a super dangerous and crazy idea. Like, I'd be more concerned about this mystery liquid this dude is dousing my hair in. Like, I don't want that seeping into my skull. I mean, is a fresh cut really worth having a third arm grow out of your forehead? But I want to know whose idea was it in the first place to do this. And who's really excited out there to look like Hades from the Disney Hercules movie? Or Joe Pesci from Home Alone? There are very few things in this life that smell worse than burning hair. I mean, just imagine being in that shop the whole time with that smell just singeing your nostril hairs off. Also, how can this be good for your hair? There's not one part of the human body that I could think of that gets healthier when fire is applied to it. If you could think of one, please leave it in the comment section below. And here's probably the part that nobody thought of, but this will change the whole social media aspect of everything too. I mean, no longer will you have Fresh Cut Friday, but now, Fire Dome Friday, or Flaming Scout Friday. All I'm saying is, people, is if this becomes a thing, please just stay away, because the slash and burn technique is already being used to clear entire forests. What do you think it's gonna do to your hairline? 